hi assalamu alaikum peace to you in this video we will learn how to analyze and design the safe uh, the combined footing in safe 2016 uh, first of all we will go uh, uh, from the zero level uh, i am going in the file new model and here is the design code aci 31814 and i am will use the metric system uh, SI system but you can use US default whatsoever you like so I am hitting OK and now from here I will select the combined footing so there is also all other types of footings like face mat a single footing and here I am clicking combined footing and the combined footing uh, here is showing the plan dimensions like left edge distance is 2 meter and right edge distance is 2 meter means left edge and right edge and top edge distance and the bottom from top and bottom uh, both are two meters and load spacing and the spacing between two foundations is eight meters so whatsoever you like you can adjust according to your or uh, desired loads and desired loading and uh, geometry conditions and here is the loading condition here is p dead and live loss 1500 kilo newton so i am here also applying a little bit uh, movement like 60 60 kilo newton meter uh, mx and also in the load to type in uh, 60 in here so whatever the movements are uh, you are having you can put uh, according to your desire uh, to, uh, to design the combined footing so I am here putting the footing thickness 600 millimeter but after uh, in the main window you can change according to your uh, needs so here I am putting the subgrade modulus subgrade modulus basically to to model the foundations to make the real conditions like in in the real conditions we are having the bearing capacity allowable bearing capacity and the allowable settlement so i am here uh, going to show you how to calculate the uh, soil subgrade modulus in the soil subgrade modulus is equal to equal to pressure over deformation pressure is basically allowable bearing capacity which we get after from the field testing or from the laboratory testing and the deformation is the allowable settlement in the foundation so whichever type of foundation you are designing so according to that uh, the allowable settlement you can use for example in isolated footings you can use 25 millimeter and for the mat or raft foundation you can use 50 millimeter as the allowable settlement and now here i am showing the calculation for the subgrade modulus and uh, allowable bearing pressure is the 200 kpa and allowable settlement is 25 millimeter the soil subgrade modulus will be k is equal to 200 divided by deformation is 25 divided by 1000 to convert into meter so here i am getting 8000 kilonewton per meter cube so i will put uh, in case of uh, in this space of modulus of soil subgrade modulus 8000 kilo newton per meter cube ok so after hitting ok you can see the uh, the footing and uh, as you have uh, as you want to model in the CSI safe uh, 2016 software so uh, before going further I will first draw the design strips add design strips so here you can uh, do by automatic or you can also draw by manually like here I am drawing the design strips here draw design strips uh, and strip layer is A and from here to there and in the other direction I am naming it B from here to here uh, why I am doing this uh, uh, assigning the design strips basically the software uh, design the foundations in two ways one is FEM finite element method and second is the uh, 
strip design method for the strip design method we have to assign the strips like i have uh, i did uh, now in this foundation and now i am going to save this model mm, with the name combine footing design after uh, saving the model uh, we have basically applied the loading successfully and the boundary conditions like we have defined the soil subgrade modulus we can also check again define in uh, soil subgrade modulus and here is the soil subgrade modulus which we have defined soil 1 here is uh, 2 but here which you have we defined soil is 8000 now we can check uh, we have defined the soil property soil okay before running the analysis and design i am going to define the load combinations there are two load combinations already defined so i will just delete them and i will uh, assign default design combinations according to service normal conditions okay and you can check the load combinations one dead one live and one dead so in the design combinations you design preferences you can see the covers as for example these are slabs so prefer bar size whatsoever you want okay in design combinations we will select uh, service uh, we are designing according to service normal okay so now I am running the analysis and design so after running the analysis and design you can see display show deform shape against load combinations apply here is the maximum is 8 millimeter which is less than 25 millimeter so it's okay again the second uh, again second combination again again the settlement in the foundations at all the point is less than 25 millimeter which is okay so now i am checking the bearing pressure show reaction soil pressure against fly here is at min maximum minimum or less than 200 kpa so it's okay so for second combination that also okay so now I am going to check the punching shear design check so the punching shear design uh, checks are less than one so that's are okay so here are basically three checks pressure under footing less than 200 okay deformation under footing less than 25 millimeter okay and punching shear is less than one is also okay preferable should be less than 0.9 if you are failing in any check go towards the inputs like geometric it means you have to change length of the footing width of the footing and thickness of the footing and you can also change the material property like uh, uh, concrete uh, uh, compressive strength etc so here now i am going to towards the design so all checks are okay show slab design in the show slab design there are two methods of design basis one is fpm second is strip base in the FPM, you can, uh, for example, you want to see the top reinforcement, how much is required. So here you can see the, the top in for requirement of top reinforcement. So like in the bottom, here under the footing, bottom reinforcement required. In the middle, no. Same way in the second. So I will prefer in the strip base, in the strip base, for example, in the layer A and layer B. Apply. In the x direction layer a here is the footing area required 1561 millimeter square per meter so in the y direction is the b strips here you can see the top and bottom reinforcement requirement in the y direction so i will just apply here is the required enforcement in the top and bottom direction of the combined footing so i will just provide for example number 12 area of 250 millimeter spacing but this 
provided reinforcement is still less than the required so i will just increase for example to 20 to 20 apply so still in the reinforcement but reinforcement top top i am just decreasing the spacing it to 150 apply so now it means if we provide this reinforcement i am just showing the a demonstration video so you can uh, change according to the uh, desired or optimization way so here you can see and also there is a one beautiful function of detailing so in the detailing you can see the drawings okay drawing sheet cover sheet showing the knots putting layout plan putting table here it is showing for example these are bar a bar b and total thickness is 600 millimeter so that is 0.6 meter l y l x and n by uh, geometry dimensions and putting for example f1 so it's 22 number 14 bar and 18 number 16 bars in the a and in the b directions so that's all uh, have a nice day